Thomas Boniyayi is among a few leaders on the continent who have given up power after serving two terms. Yayi's decision to bow out is seen to offer a ray of sunshine to Africa's homegrown democracy. During the recent presidential elections in Benin, Yayi commended Benin's democratic progress. With my departure, our democracy has advanced a step further. After my two five-year terms, in accordance with our constitution, and after President Mathieu Kerekou, our democracy has progressed and is propelled into the great democracies of the planet. Benin voted in a hotly contested presidential runoff on Sunday, after candidates failed to reach the threshold in the first round on March the 6th. Despite the tightly contested race with 33 candidates gunning for the top seat in the first round, the runoff between Prime Minister Lionel Zinsu and Cotton tycoon Patrice Talon has still enjoyed relative peace. Even as he leaves office, Yayi has pledged to support Benin in its fight against poverty. I think the nation still needs me. Together, we will work to overcome this common enemy, which is poverty. By relinquishing power after serving two terms in office, Boniyayi stands in contrast to leaders in other African nations, including Burundi, Rwanda and Congo Republic, who have altered their constitutions in order to extend their rule. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.